All right. Cool, and we're live. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. My name is Gabriel Quinn. I am primarily a character designer. I do some viz dev stuff, some painting stuff sometimes, but today we're working on characters, which is awesome. So if you haven't been here before, uh, welcome. We just kind of hang out and do some design. Anybody is free to ask any questions or, uh, yeah, about art or about life or anything. We just kind of chill and hang out and make some cool designs. So today's focus is to be tackling some old kind of loose sketches that I've done. Um, some of them are more defined than others, but a lot of them are quite loose. And we're going to be refining them and like bringing them into kind of like a reality. So we're going to be kind of finishing them and while finishing them, maybe discovering stuff like, oh, maybe I could do this, maybe I could do that. Because a lot of the designing can end up coming out in the finishing stage, which is cool. So I'm just going to drop the stream link to the peeps on the Discord. We love the peeps on the Discord. They're awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I've been absolutely craving to get back into some character design stuff, which is really, really exciting. Um, so yeah, we got some fun Sky Pirate guys going on. So there's a couple we've kind of brought into maybe a bit more of a finish recently. So let's look at a couple of those and see where we want to go to. Oh, HG's in the chat. Welcome. HG asks, hello there. How are you today? Hey, man, I'm pretty good. Um, yeah, I've still, I'm still hosting a couple art friends here in New York. So we went and walked the entirety of the High Line on the, uh, the West side, which was really fun. So they're down in Soho now and I'm, I have to do the stream. Let's go. Ah, oh, Mojo. Welcome Mojo. So let's take a look. We have an older piece, but a fave of mine for sure. So we have our boy Kel here. This is an illustration of Kel. He's awesome. Oh, the canvas extends. Oops. So this is kind of the finish we brought some of the characters into before. This is kind of like an early iteration for this IP. Um, and if you've never seen the Sky Pirates before, they're just a bunch of pirates in the sky. So let's so let's go. Um, we've got this guy going on, and we did a past design, a past drawing of one. Um, but I'm not 100% sure we're gonna use it. So. Hey, let's look at Kel. Yeah, so here's here's kind of where we left Kel off. So we have some line art, some material definition in the painting underneath and cloth and stuff. Um, but just kind of keeping it loose. And then in the process of cleanup on the left side, you know, we kind of got a little... Well, these are actually really fun, pretty gestural and fun to do. And we'll probably continue these at some point for sure. So we're going for that level of finish. <laughs> this is a fun keyframe we did last stream of them descending into the an airship in the background i started doing some painting and stuff on the airship but i don't know if i'll finish that one we'll see but yeah so we have here all these guys all these goobers here they are in all their glory these are the circus pirates which are really fun they're like a fun family of like circusy pirates also welcome to the chat nabs welcome 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 um, so we can kind of figure out how we want to finish this. So if we're going to go with, um, the original idea, oh, we got dream state. What up? What up Anya? Wink. Welcome to the chat. Um, if we're going to finish these with the same level of finish as the other ones, mm, we're going to have to go in with some thin line stuff. So I'm thinking what feels right. So I started actually before I started doing some stuff here. Um, but I'm thinking that even this line is a little thick, like, you know, it's very reminiscent of, uh, maybe like Ryan Palette or, you know, some other really great artists that I love, but the thicker the line, it's like, uh, thick lines really cover your mistakes and make your drawing less incorrect. Um, but it can hold you back gesturally. Um, thin lines are, give you so many options for like really incredible gesture. And that's why looking at a lot of Disney films and everything like that in animation, they usually opt for some thinner lines, but you can be obviously stylistically however you want, right? But um, for this project, we're gonna go with a slightly thinner line. So the difference in between that and that is like actually quite significant if you were to redraw the whole thing. 
So I'm going to leave that there. You know, we can just kind of leave it. But I'm going to start with a new layer. So, oh, sick. We got the whole squad. Let's go. Naming this line art. Got to get better at naming my layers, man. You know? So this guy's got a classic, like, blunderbuss. I'm thinking that this between this whole family, like, these two are twins. The twins, you know what I mean? The twins, we got a, uh, I don't know, uncle someone. We got a, uh, we got great uncle, great uncle something, right? This is like a family. And then we got, you know, cousin, cousin Marco. We already named him a while ago. Cousin Marco. All the names are kind of like Italian themed. We're going with very like circus-esque. Commedia della Arte kind of vibe, but like kind of on, on the edge of that, not 100% that. And then we got, I think like, I think Leo's brother. So this is also an uncle. Uncle. Uncle like Paolo. No, I don't know, but he's an uncle. So that's just like for kind of reference, right? So I guess these guys are cousins. These guys are cousins. Of, like, the core family, which I have a rough sketch of. Where do we go? Cirque fam. Here we go. Which is, uh, we got Papa Leo, who's, like, just so awesome. Giant beard, giant hair, giant mustache. He's super strong. He's got his wife, who I can't remember her name was. And he just, like, throws her. And she's got, like, a cool glider. And she's, like, shoo. And she, like, lands with her two daughters, Allegra and Bruna. Bruna. Which is cool. So these are these are pretty fun. Now you have to make a family big, beautiful family tree. I know, a big old beautiful family tree. That'll be fun. Cool, cool, cool. So I guess before anything, what I like to do is do like some warm ups. So what we're gonna do for warm ups is actually doing some of that rough sketching. So if we look back at some designs here. We've got some scribbles on the page, and I don't know, I don't know how or if I want to use these older scribbles, right? These are some of the first drawings that I did for like the project, you know. Um, this guy's got some cool ideas. This guy's, you know, kind of like half of a idea. They're maybe a little too spiky. I don't know, right? This guy, I think maybe he was gonna have three arms, but that's kind of not canon with the world anymore. So can't really follow up on that too much. But we have some other characters that have potentially some like cool silhouettes and stuff. So I think what we're going to do is put these guys in a similar lineup. So let's see how many we had for the cousins. We had one, two, three, one, two, three. So six total. We'll do the same on the other side too. One, two, three, one, two, three. Maybe we'll do five. I don't know yet. So this is going to be for a portfolio book. Just uh, for anybody who's wondering, that's why it's formatted so wide. It's 2A4 landscape. Um, so we have kind of like a page indicator here, which I throw up just to see how the layout's looking once in a while. But yeah. So let's see here what we can do. Let's start to reorganize some stuff. So if we have to pick six, um, I feel like we can combine some of these ideas. So... This guy's got like a brass knuckle vibe, right? Brass knuckle vibe is cool. I feel like this guy just kind of gets cut, unfortunately. Which uh, I have all these guys on other PSDs, so do not have no fear. Have no fear, friends. Um, so this is six already, right? So let's see. Let's see how that feels. Let's maybe take this weird scribble and we'll say goodbye to him. We don't say goodbye. Cool. So let's see if we want to do three and three. I like the idea that one guy has like these hooks, like these hook blades. Like that's kind of that's kind of cool. Let's do some overlay so we can kind of see with uh, the cousins like how it's laid out on the page, so we can have some consistency. Um. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So these guys are a bit big, I think. We also got to figure out, I think, like, the scale. So who are the biggest dudes? 
Um, I feel like the boxer guy, we're going to do a whole rework of him. So we'll make him big. Oops. Wrong layer. Wrong layer. Yeah. So, oh gosh. Why? Why does it select the wrong layer? Okay. So, this guy, um, we're going to, oh, that's weird. Is there white on the page? Am I crazy? Huh. Weird. Okay. We'll make, we'll make this guy bigger. We'll drop it down to the same level. So everything's kind of like, again, consistent with the other pages. So when you're flipping through, you feel grounded. Ah, uh, nice. We got Seth and Emmy in the chat. Welcome guys. We're doing some more character design today. Figured we go back to it. I mean, character design is something that uh, I feel very strong in. Oh, that's why it's selecting that. Okay. It's on top. That's why. So yeah, character design feels like the strongest tool in my box, you know, the, the sharpest knife in my box. So we're going to probably focus on that for this week and the week to come. And we'll kind of maybe touch on other stuff here and there. But um, yeah. Yeah, might be having a pretty bombastic stream schedule next week, so so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. No promises, but... All right, we've got this girl here. She's kind of cool. She's got two axes. I feel like her posture needs to be... Uh, like, I like I liked the drawing a while ago. It was kind of the spiky thing. Like, I, I kind of liked the drawing, but... Maybe something a little missing. Who knows? Nice Emmy. Nice. Commentary is good, man. I love I love drawing. I used to draw like obsessively with uh all my favorite artists online. Like I would draw with like Ahmed and Cynix and Psychra and like seeing all the stuff they were doing while I was working was like just so cool. I'm gonna use an HB pencil. It's a pencil I've been using for a long time for this kind of rough stuff. Although this one's pretty intense, like it's pretty darn toothy. So I'm gonna duplicate it. Uh, new brush preset, HB modified. Don't be at the bottom. Nice, nice, I hate when it's at the bottom. And we're actually gonna modify it. So we're gonna go into brush settings. Um, let's see, texture, maybe lower the contrast. Or, hmm, no, that didn't help. We'll bring it back to zero, I think. Brightness. All right. Because we want to be able to do some really light lines with this brush. Depth is usually where you want to be. Nice. All right. This is pretty much what we what we need here. So, I think, I'm pretty sure it's append, right? Or do I have to new brush preset it? I think I do. Oof. Okay. Well, there we go. So, 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 so. Let's see here. All right, we've kind of got the scale in order if this is the biggest dude, right? So we're going to go biggest. We're going to remove the top thing. We're just going to kind of go. So we're reworking from like a long time ago, eh? Bombastic equals fantastic. Also, Zella's in the chat. Welcome, Zella. 
Dream State says, I've been doing gestures and watching and watching this man make really beautiful and effortless gestural lines, and I'm so envious. <laughs> oh, man. You know, practice, 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 right? Practice. Practice. Ah, oh, man. What did someone say once? It wasn't like practice makes perfect. It's like practice makes something. I can't remember. But it was it was a great uh it was a great addition or like a great kind of subversion of the original quote, I think. Cool. But yeah, gestures are great. It takes a long time to get to a stage in gestures and drawing where you actually feel like you're able to. Yeah, practice makes something something. Now it was like it was something like consistent or practice makes. Gosh, gosh. Well, there you go. I've set myself up to fail yet again. Yet again, relatable moment. Okay, so we'll make the one dude really lanky. So we'll keep we'll keep this. Boop, boop, boop. So I'll flatten this out. So I feel like this guy needs to be like tall and kind of lanky. That's just the feeling I'm getting from him. So he can he can be a tall boy. And we'll fix his like top heavy vibe. We'll definitely fix it, I think. So that we get kind of like a a trio sort of like this. Yo, Martin Bayes, let's go. Welcome. I'm thinking uh this guy can be like I don't know why I want to put him like on a barrel. I want him to be on a barrel right now. You know what I mean? You ever just want a character to be on a barrel? That's how I feel right now. So let's say this guy, maybe he's got two guns or something. One of them's up, one of them's down. We're going to change his gesture because we want to we wanna turn him. We want him to be facing in, kind of close out that space on that side. Just for like flow. Maybe we'll make this like... down or something so we got some cool stuff going on I want to put him on a barrel I'm not gonna lie to you let's put him on a barrel let's do it so we'll make him like smaller and we'll barrel time dude it's so barrel time it's never been more barrel time than now sometimes it feels like you don't want to well actually first let's just copy this group we can cut we can copy the group it's allowed but yeah sometimes it feels like you don't want to start to go in and like cut up your old sketches and do stuff but you can always just copy it over and trust your instincts you know Great. Okay. We're always improving. We're always evolving and changing. So if he's on a barrel, he kind of needs his whole silhouette to change. So the drawing's kind of not very useful anyway. Yeah. Sometimes you really do want to draw someone on a barrel. Uh, on a barrel? On a barrel. What up, Solid Santiago? Welcome to the stream. It's been a minute. Hope you're well. Captain Morgan stance. Captain Morgan stance. Wait, let me look. Oh, <laughs> that's that is classic right there. That's a classic stance. This dude's hair is kind of spiky, maybe. Man, I watched uh, Tech on Concrete last night. Man very good movie my goodness i've been saving it for a while and i watched it with a couple friends and just aesthetically so inspiring like so cool 
just like so 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 cool all right how big is this file again because i want to make sure that we're going to get enough definition for these drawings yeah this is good nice okay so We'll have him hand on the hand on the blade, right? Blades resting, kind of going back a little bit, like foreshorten it out. Something cool. This hand's on top of this hand, or do we want him just like be holding it? Maybe he's just holding the sword. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Nice. Seth says, this page is definitely inspiring me to use the character's pose as a storytelling device when I do designs. I do too many neutral poses. That's a great reflection. It's a really great reflection. You know, lest we forget a design, if you're doing neutral poses, you're not necessarily designing a character. Usually you're designing a costume if you're doing neutral poses. But even then, even then, man, you know, a anything that shows what you're designing is, is essential and important. Oh, it's your favorite movie, Mojo? Yeah, it's really good. It's like really, really good. All right, we'll do this. We'll do this pose. He's holding the scabbard, fingers facing, right? And he's like unsheathing the blade. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this advice, but like drawing the hands first and then connecting the hands to the body is really helpful. That's actually true. It is super helpful because there's only so many limits to what the human body can do in terms of like contortions. So if you place the hands, then there's kind of like a necessary way they have to reconnect with the body. And uh, yeah, it takes a lot of practice to kind of figure out what that is, but it's totally doable. Yeah, super wacky. It is a super wacky for sure. Nice. Pernish Gate, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Gremlin pose. Exactly. Exactly. Gremlin pose. Great way to put it. Cool. At some point in a sec, I'll have to shoot off a, shoot off a couple texts. I uh, have some evening plans. I have to make sure I don't miss or like miss schedule or anything. A couple things are up in the air, so I just got to confirm a couple things. Alrighty. So. He's drawing his sword. He's on a barrel. He like has to be on a barrel. We've spoken it into reality. It has to happen. It really does, guys, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's gotta happen. You know, when doing designs like this and like practicing, it's really important not to lose the joy of the craft and the art, like the artistry of it, you know, especially when you're doing concept work, you can feel like you almost like have to be like in this hyper efficient mode and sort of like forego beauty, aesthetic, wonder, but those things are still very much essential. 
if not for the project for your own sanity or at least for me that's how it is like i have to still have some kind of like <laughs> integrity or honor i don't know if that makes sense but you know i chose to be an artist and working in entertainment is great but you know before before like calculating in my head if i'm an entertainment artist i first have to remember that i am i am an artist for myself first you know for myself and for the world i guess but yeah you got a little barrel on the ground he's on a barrel like a really weird pose <laughs> okay, it's definitely off balance there, so we gotta fix it. We'll also scoot, we'll take him to the right a little bit, make him a little smaller. So, zooming out like this kind of helps maintain energy and context. Otherwise, it's super easy to get stiff, all zoomed in, too close to the details. We don't want to tangent his mid midsection with the sword. Um, I don't think I don't think it's tangenting. I think I think we're okay. All right. In terms of costume, I feel like we can give him. I feel like he needs a vest. He's like, he's, he's asking for a vest and these are pirates after all. You can't have pirates without putting at least some of them in, in some vests, you know, got to have some vests. Put them a little bit up. Hmm. This is a great question. Zella asks, is there a name for this group? Because the other ones are the cousins, right? They're like all the cousins. So this has to be like a group, right? Like a crew, like a sick crew. Um, hmm. 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 What are they called? They're called the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Do we want it to be called bottom of the barrel? Hmm. We'll see how it feels and we'll go from there. Bottom of the barrel. Putting him too high was kind of weird. All right, all right, all right. So, mm, too high. Got to bring it back down again. He's got to be like a little guy. You know what I mean? Just like a, just like a little guy. Yeah, it's weird. I watched, I watched, uh, oh, there's the thumbnail for today. Epic. We love it. We love thumbnails. I watched um, Akira, too. Kara was really good. It was a good movie. A lot of subtext in that movie. But that felt really good to watch. It was like a bunch of bucket list movies. Man, I'm just massacring these. This pose, man. The anatomy of a head on squat like this. Never fun. There we go.
There we go. Gosh. It's about to go crazy for a second. Okay, so we'll give him some cool plates, right? <laughs> Big Top Burger is taken, I believe. That's funny, Zella. Man, we love uh we love Worthy Kids. Worthy Kids is so good. Patchy the Pirates. <laughs> um yeah, Akira is definitely a classic for sure. Yeah, definitely the the intense body augmentations was intense in Akira. It was a lot. It was a lot. But uh not as bad as I think it was like pitched to me. It was like pitched to me as being really intense. I don't know if it ended up being as intense as it was made out to be. But yeah. Akira was great. It was awesome. <laughs> the legs weren't legging. Exactly. Exactly. So we fixed the legs. Fix the legs enough for now. We'll we'll fix it properly later. I had a party to watch Akira and spent 12 hours making ramen from scratch for the boys. Oh, that's awesome, Seth. That's really cool. Wholesome. Okay, this guy, this guy. Well, first of all, let's unify this. Let's make it all. Oh, oof. Oopsie daisy. Select. Color range white. Get quite intense. Okay, that was too intense. It's a pretty inefficient way to remove white from a drawing, but hey, it's good enough. Whoa. I wanted it to be less blue. Okay, so. So this guy, he's interesting, right? He's got like a strange sort of like weird kilt thing. But it is interesting. Like no one can say it's not interesting. The boots are a bit much, I gotta say. Or like... Cutting off at the knees and then having the boots here, like, you know, it, it's it's pretty awkward. Like, the proportions are pretty awkward. So, let's see what we can do with this guy. He's got this great sword. Like, look at that thing. It's so cool. I feel like we can also... Punk kilts are cool. They are cool. That's what I thought when I was making it. I'm like, this is sick. And it kind of is, right? So, let's try and keep the kilt. Let's try and make him... Really interesting. The mullet, I don't know if I'm going to keep the mullet. Mullet may be a bit too modern for this pseudo-fantasy setting. Um, let's say that it's a double-bladed weapon, so it's got like a cool second blade. Right? Right? Oh, duh. Cool double bladed weapon. Let's cut this off. This guy, I don't know about this. We'll see about that guy. We'll see. We'll see what he's up to. Um, so one thing we want to remember is that there's kind of like a crow feather motif. I want to work into this crew. Like kind of like a feathery kind of black bird or like something like that, right? Like we want some kind of like feathery sort of strange vibe to these guys they, they should feel kind of almost bird-like in like a weird way like crow-like right 
So, okay, let me let me do crisscross applesauce here in my chair. Oh, wait, I have to send off a text actually. Oops. All right. So, what do we got going on? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love when my phone dies. Awesome. All right, I have to pl I have to plug my phone in for a second. This is like a comedy of errors. I don't know where my cord is. It's pretty uh this is pretty funny. All right, let's do let's do this. Let's do this, and we'll do this. Cool. Yeah, charging cord is MIA, so sad. But yeah, we want we want a kind of like a black feathery vibe going with these guys, which um, in line art sketching, it's kind of like, you know, there's only so much you can do, right? But we can sort of start to imagine what it could look like. Um, so one of the big kind of chunky cutoff points of this guy's design is the belt. Like the belt's a bit much, you know? So it creates, by having the belt be so thick, it creates a lot of horizontal energy. So if we reduce the size of the belt, let's make it maybe lower and thinner. It's actually helping to push the kind of vertical energy down instead of having so much um, intensity in that direction. So proportion wise, this feels a little bit better for sure. Yeah, a murder of crows. It's been done a hundred times. And initially I was like, I was afraid of like, oh man, what if I, what if it's too generic? What if it's too this? What if it's too that? Dude, we gotta just we gotta just do the coolest idea, you know. The reason it's been done to death so many times is because it is the coolest idea. It's like really cool. Um, okay, so I saw this design of a sickle recently, where it was like the sickle was a cool shape, and the blade was on this side, but the back had like insane designs all over it because that wasn't the part that cut, so it didn't need to be anything. So I want to try and remember that when I do this design and work in some cool stuff on the back. Like that's pretty, that's pretty sick. Um, Axe girl. Uh, what's Axe girl doing? I feel like she like cut stuff up demolition. She's like hacking doors down, bonking guys. Like, you know, this, this world is supposed to be, this world is supposed to be very intense with a lot of violence, but not like, not like gruesome blood murder violence. It's kind of like uh think like think like like Avatar Last Airbender. The whole show is fighting, but it's like there's not a lot of blood, right? Um I mean they all have swords though, so mm. maybe this is kind of just like an eighteen up sort of story, isn't it? Maybe this maybe this world is rated R. Gosh. Maybe. Maybe it's rated R, guys. Maybe maybe it's rated R. In which case, geez, that kind of has some implications, I think. Well, we'll see. Right now, right now, we'll just let it be. Let it be. Yeah, PG thirteen. Yeah, or like, or like, or like TV seventeen. You know what I mean? Like mature, for mature audiences. Maybe not. Maybe not rated R. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Maybe I need a little... Maybe I need a little white noise while I do this. Same rating as Bleach. Oh, dude, I love Bleach. Bleach is, like, awesome. Man, that new season's been so fun. It's, like, so nostalgic, man. It's pretty wild. Pretty wild how nostalgic that show is. Thousand Year Blood War. 
TV 14 question mark maybe I don't know I don't know like there's some blood maybe you know like maybe a dude gets stabbed here and there but it's like kind of in the distance right it's like not so like groot like you're not gonna see like a dude's like open you know wounds or anything okay we got some cool shapes here we got we got double ended awesome sword of doom which is just sick we love it um we've got what else we have what else we have we have we'll we'll figure this guy out he's i don't i don't even know what he's up to anymore man he's very hunched over we've got barrel guy which honestly honestly right now barrel guy is one of my faves easy easily one of my faves for sure um i feel like this character with the axe on the shoulder or maybe the axe isn't on the shoulder i'm thinking the axe is maybe like like hanging or like held right here like the blade is forward kind of something like that we'll figure it out but yeah this guy Give him a little stomach. Make him look a little lanky. But we'll still give him uh, some lats. He's allowed to have some lats, you know? Everyone's allowed to have a couple lats at least. At least. Oh. Gosh, I really need to be in communication with someone right now, but my uh, phone is dead. Cool. Sorry for the dead air, guys. Sweet. Sweet. I'm just going to plug something in really quick. Man, it's always hard when you're trying to do too many things at once, you know? Yeah, me too, man. My issue is I, I like, I just don't charge it. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'll get home and I'll be fine. And then it's at like 2% when I get home. And then, uh, and then like, <laughs> uh, man, same old story, same old story. Then I don't plug it in when I get home. And then like an hour goes by and I'm like, no, it's dead. Oh, no. Okay, so this guy being shirtless, I don't know. I don't know about it. We don't, you know, it's 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 a bold look. It's definitely a bold look. Um, I'm just going to mute myself while I send a voice message really quick. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I may have to cut this one short, guys. I would hate to cut the stream short, but I might have to. We'll see. We may be... Um, We may be really just trying to wrap the fix these designs a bit. Okay, we'll put them in a tank top. That helps a lot instantly. We don't want them to be like too exposed right like too like just a bit much skin tight tank yeah exactly skin tight tank let's go because then we still get the silhouette eh we like that silhouette put a couple folds in it or whatever yeah a skin tight tank it is one thing i love doing with uh my character um what's his name my character cal was i loved giving him stripes like stripes on a character is awesome I don't know why I keep putting my headphones back on. I don't need them. Cool. Cool, cool. So we'll give this guy some stripes. His posture's a little leany backy, so I'm gonna bring him up a little more so he's just like a more substantial guy. Make the belt a little more angled. It's kind of falling at the front. Show maybe his back shoulder on this side, like he's, because he would be like at that interesting angle, right? Where you sort of see like mid, mid back, and then it turns to portrait as it turns towards you. Nabs asks, how do you usually come up with names for your characters? That's a great question. Sometimes what I'll do is like, is like, uh, looking up like meanings, you know what I mean? So I'll Google names, right? So for instance, with like, uh, with the other family, um, like the fam, the circus fam people who we love, these guys, like uh, Papa Leo, like Leo, Leonin, kind of cat-like, all that stuff. We want them to fe feel very like lion-esque. With the two sisters, Allegra and Bruna, um, I wanted the meaning to be really succinct. So I looked through a ton of Italian names and Allegra, the name's meaning was like perfect. It was happy and lively, which is like perfect for the character because I already sketched it. And I'm like, oh my God, perfect. And then with Bruna, I just looked up the name and it was also perfect. It was, oh wait. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruna, like, protected by the shield, armed for battle. Like, it's intense. But more Germanic. But, yeah, I wanted her to have, like, this protector battle kind of kind of vibe. You know what I mean? But, yeah, meanings work a lot. Um, sometimes you want it to feel like if the character was called by that name, their head would turn. And, and like, you'd want to, you'd want to think like if they were called by that name in a judgmental way, how would that, how would they react? Like, so for the character Kel, who's a very mischievous guy, very kind of whatever, like if someone is like, Kel, Kel, he's like, ha, 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 you know, like someone's saying that name, like, ha, 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 like it's, it's like, it doesn't hit him too hard. You know what I mean? He wouldn't feel guilty. Um... Versus, like, my experience with the name Gabriel. Like, Gabriel is such an intense name. Um, which, uh, I just go by Gabriel now. I don't I don't go by Gabe anymore. But for a while I did because Gabriel was so intense. It was like someone would be like, 
Gabriel. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't even do anything wrong, but I was like, I'm sorry. So names carry tremendous weight. Tremendous, tremendous weight. All right, we really need the phone to come back. I'm, I'm gonna check to see if my phone is charged again. So there you go. Archangel type name, yeah, exactly, right? I also have I also have an eyelash in my eye right now. You know when like you have like something something like in your eye or whatever and you're trying to not let it bother you but it's like really bothering you? Why? Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, I might have to cut this one short. I hope not. Let me check my messages really quick. All right, sick. My eyelashes betray me a lot. Dude, same. My eyelashes are like out out for blood today, especially. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. All right, so we've kind of we've put some effort into these guys on the other side here. Giving him a kilt. Here he is. Look at him go. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, the boots are a little too intense, so we're going to have to tone those down somehow. I also want to, like, make the end of the kilt kind of cool, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll make it a little bit longer. Sub knee length. Extend it out a bit. See how that feels. Hmm. Might be too long. HD says, did you do the same thing for the big green dragon from Benny's kitchen? Father Dorn, since Dorn means thorn, or was that a coincidence? That, I would love to take credit for that. I would love to say, yes, it was totally intentional. I knew the meaning. I know all these Latin and Germanic words, 100%. But unfortunately, it was just a coincidence. But sometimes things that sound right, sound right because they are right. And you kind of find out later. <laughs> oh, sick. Okay. Thanks for thanks for bearing with, guys. This is like a particularly busy week for me. I've got some uh some lovely friends over and uh want to get all the time that that we can together. Um but I also still want to make these streams cuz when I when I miss the stream or when like I don't know, I'm not able to do the full stream, like it actually affects me now. Like I I really like it. It's kind of important for me to to get the stream in, you know? Um, I think that kilt was a little long, so we'll shorten it up a smidge. What's the scabbard on this thing? I guess it splits into two, so he connects it here. It's a, it's a knife and a sword. So he's got he's got two sheaths. He's got the short one on that side. No, 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 no. Short one on the other side. 
which we'll put higher. And the long one here. Because, like, people forget about the scabbard, man. Like, scabbards are there. You need to put the sword somewhere. How does it hang? You know, what's going on? And with a sword like this, you'd need, like, a long scabbard. And you'd need, like, an epic mechanism to, like, hold it to the body. All right. It's kind of infringing on our boy's space, which is not good, but... We'll figure it out. We'll definitely figure it out. It might be that this guy belongs on the other side. And a character that it doesn't matter if something's behind them is on that side. We'll see. See how things go. Blade, blade. Not that thick though, it's a bit thinner, I think. Shwink. We'll have it come forward a bit. Sometimes it's cool when like the, the blade comes forward a lot, so it would be like this. Like hang forward, pull it out. Swing. That's cool. Okay, sick. Make sure the kilt stays cool. Some bits coming out front and behind. Um, I'm thinking like, what if this guy's pose was actually quite like stoic? Like how would that feel? So if this foot was in front of the other foot, like if this foot was there, this foot was actually farther back, but like by like a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Then this would be much flatter. Does that work as well? Nah, he's got to be like cool. What about Barrel of Blades? Barrel of Blades could be good. Could be great. All right, since he has a kilt, maybe we don't put spikes on him as much. Also, these boots are just too intense, man. We'll place him there. We'll give him very baggy pants. I feel like the baggy pants will like be cool leading into the boots and also have the kilt layered on top. So he's like very bottom heavy guy, right? I feel like with this much bottom heavy, with the silhouette, we wanna have like Cool to cool like like a thing, maybe like a spike thing on top, something like that. That's feeling cool. We'll do laces next time. We'll. We'll make it cool. All right, we fixed barrel guy. And of course we're thinking ensemble, right? We're always thinking about the greater ensemble. So like this barrel guy fills a niche, right? Sneaky sword guy. We don't want to put another sneaky sword guy in. So we have like big strange sword guy over here. We're still figuring him out, you know? We're still figuring out what his deal is. Um, weird hunched over gun guy. I feel like if we're gonna do him his Pose has to be like way back instead. Like a gunslinger almost vibe. We need him to have like a gunslinger vibe maybe. The other gun like behind, like behind him almost. You can like see the barrel hanging, hanging down. This one hanging up. Big old gun, gun guy. So you have gun guy, double blade guy, axe girl, 
who's like kind of ballistic y, but like angry. She's like angry ballistic, not like happy ballistic. We've got hook guy and we've got fist guy. So that's a bunch of cool archetypes, right? So if this was a game, this would be like a fun set of characters you could play in theory, right? Diversity, baby. Diversity isn't just ethnicity. Diversity is function, mindset, how the characters think, you know, how they react next to each other, all that stuff. Diversity is completely holistic. It is not it is not limited to any one specific metric or measurement. So remember that when designing for sure. We're gonna have to leave it here, guys. I um I have to run. Unfortunately, thank you so much for joining today. We didn't get to the other pirates and we also didn't even finish the page, but it's easy to forget how long good design takes. Like if you want your designs to really be good and read, it takes time. Like it does take time. So we don't want to be sorry for taking time. <laughs> so I could be a little, little bigger, I think maybe. A little bit of a smaller head to really sell the scale that he's like a large dude, very tall dude. Or yeah, we'll see. We'll figure that out when the time comes. But yeah, guys, you guys have been absolutely fantastic today. It's been really fun. Um, and I actually got more done than I thought I would, which is cool. And uh, yeah, this brush is working great. Another brush that will be added to the beta brush set coming soon to all the patrons. Um, so <laughs> stay tuned for that. It's coming right very soon. Let's say this weekend. It's coming this weekend. Um, all right, guys, you guys have all been fantastic and I really appreciate it. If you're here for the first time, welcome. We're so happy to have you. Um, yeah, we just do a lot of design and character stuff and it's a lot of fun. So feel free to subscribe if you like the video or you like the time, definitely like the video if you learned anything. If you learned anything cool, let me know in the comments, like, like, you know, in the comments comments, cause like, it's good for me to see what people want to keep seeing and want to, want to talk about more. And if you guys want to see something or like, a concept that maybe you're struggling with or something like that, you can check it my way. Odds are I'll, if I can't answer it, I'll at least point you in the right direction. But um, yeah, have a fantastic day, everyone. All the best and I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys.